the third set. They exchanged breaks to serve right at the start of it. And I'm breaking in the first game. Sellers in the second game. Sellers held for 2-1. And this is Anand serving at 1-2. great to see Justin Hennan remaining so competitive in this third set. It's so easy once when you've been a set and four to up against a top player and you lose that set to just fall apart in the third. Just shows you just how good she's going to become. It's got to be one of the great shots. Henan backhand. Lovely for an old man like me to see uh, a single-handed classic backhand. Oh, it's so well struck. Shoulder turn. Just releases. There's no stutter there on the follow-through. Really dangerous shot. Had sellers in all sorts of problems. So after they both dropped their opening service games of this final set, they both held the next two all. I feel the key to Henan's fortunes in this match is whether at the end of the day she believes she can actually beat Monica Sellers. She won two tournaments this year, so she's in the winning habit. Yes, and beat some pretty useful players, players like Chanda Rubin and Sandrine Testud, who she also beat again this week, but not Monica Sellers is. There's so many great players out there on the tour, but there's only three or four special players, and I would put Monica Sellers in that category. Just not looking comfortable in the net position. Well, she might as well be holding a cricket bat when she's up at the net. It's <laughs> not where she wants to be. It'll be interesting to see whether playing doubles as she is this year with Martina Hingis will sharpen up her net game. I think when you play with Martina Hingis, it uh, doesn't matter how you play, really. I think she's amazing. Well now, two chances for Enan to move up a break again. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Seized the chance, took it with both hands. 
Enan leads three games to two with Enan having broken through to lead 3-2. Next couple of games went with the serve. So here's Enan serving at 4-3 in the final set. it was at this stage in the second set that and then just started to stutter Forehand's coming in for a severe examination once again. So let's just pick that side. That's where she's going to go. That's where Hanan can't hurt her, and that's where the errors have come through from throughout this match. Two doubles. Understandable, I think. Very good player, Justine Hennan, but hasn't quite had the big match experience. Hasn't been in this situation enough times. Just long, Sellers breaks to love. And it's the second set all over again as Sellers recovers from 2-4 to 4 all. And of course in that second set, she went on to win the next two games as well. Sellers knows that all she has to do is hang in there, keep competing, not try and do anything different or anything flash, just keep it really solid, but keep pressuring. Sellers can't sit back and, and let Hennen make winners. She still has to be aggressive. The forehand really is now uh, breaking down. One stage in that second set turnaround. Monica won 10 straight uh, points. That's two straight love games here. And Enant will have to serve to stay in the match at 4-5. No night session on a Sunday. Four five. And changed it up and is rewarded. Sometimes when you really try and pummel a, a player's weakness, sometimes it can turn into a strength. I think she just hit so many forehands there, she was in a groove. Thought she might as well go for it. Called it was a fault. I've had more foot faults in uh, 
this uh, these championships than I can remember in any others. Bad time to happen. A footfall always, you know, unless you're very calm and very collective, always throws you off. And that's not a footfall. No, I don't think it was. Not touching the line. We saw Wayne Arthurs um, being foot faulted when he didn't foot fault against Tim Hemmer. Gustavo Curtin was foot faulting against Greg Rosetsky, just standing on the line. I think Monica just chatting to herself, saying, don't go to that backhand. <laughs> Great hustle from Monica Sellers. Mary Jo Fernandez in the crowd, applauding Monica. Monica was one of her bridesmaids when she married her agent, Tony Godsick, last year. And it's match point. It's long, and Monica Sellers has come from 4-2 down in the second and third sets to squeeze past Anna. Let's hope that Anna learns from the experience because she has so much talent that I'm sure she will be a Grand Slam quarterfinalist soon.